Welcome to this week's show. I'm going to be headed down to Kansas, Arrowhead Wilderness Outfitters with Donovan Hill, Brian Bachman. This place is always at the top of my list when it comes to turkeys and a big deer. On this first hunt, Jordan takes out father, son, Trent, and Nova Rhodes. Then after that, we got little brother and boy to seven-year-old Easton to knock it out of the park. We got to share Nova's virtue with you with uh, his very first turkey. And uh, awesome hunt this morning. We got to watch the birds fly right off the roost. Just worked over here in the field for a while and ended up coming right to us. And just worked out perfect. So I'm glad this kid got to get his first bird today. I'm glad I was with him. So I think he was pretty excited. I know I was. Got to share it with his dad here, a good friend of mine. And hopefully we can get Easton one. Little brother. <laughs> He's up next, huh? You had to show him how it's done first. That's right. first uh, turkey and uh, we didn't think things were going to work out again here tonight. We uh, This is our third set in here. The other night we came in with Easton and the birds worked up here on the top side and so we set up here tonight and they ended up working down right where we were at last week. So, But uh, we ended up getting a big gobbler breaking off. There was three jakes and then the one gobbler and he was the only one that ended up breaking off for us so it worked out great and uh, Easton got his first bird. So got to share his virtue with you. And, Pretty excited for it. You ready to show him off at school? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about turkey? You like turkey it's great. We're hanging in there like a hair on a lollipop. Ain't we, Donnie? <laughs> How about like yanking and cranking little hillbilly slang off the little train? We're just now getting here to Kansas. It's late evening. We're gonna go back here and set up the blind, get back in here. This this little spot back here is the spot of all spots. It's, it's a connector where everything comes together. It's where I've shot two big bucks in the past. And we're going back here to set up 
The first thing we do was we go in there where I shot that big old sad daddy buck last fall. Got Congratulations, partner. Thank you, buddy. Congratulations. Here, man. Boy, and speaking of turkeys, I think y'all got them for this spring. Boy, we got a lot of turkeys. What a hatch, huh? A lot of different hatches, a lot of different size poults. <laughs> this spring ought to be. One of the most exciting things for me is to get the trail camera up, get the Crater Maker Mineral out, made by Antler Extreme. Hey, y'all, I'm here turkey hunting, but now is the time to get your mineral out for your whitetails. My choice, Crater Maker by Antler Extreme. Not only do the deer like it, but it's good for them. Y'all, this is my honey hole. And anytime I'm turkey hunting, I'm thinking big whitetails and vice versa. Look out, old sad daddy, this fall. My setup is I've got little bubby Jake and Letitia in the breeding position out there. That's my DSD decoys, along with Pookie Poo setting off over to the side. Right off the bat, I've got the owl hooter, I'm hooting, and the turkeys are gobbling. Gotta love it. It's time to get down and put some hillbilly slang on those new game calls. Well, the gobblers hit the ground, and I mean everything went totally silent. Now, keep in mind, when this happens, that's where you've got to have patience because they got to get finished with their hens. And usually later morning is when it's going to happen. Come on. I think I heard one gobble down, but my goodness, he's plumb across the road and over there on the creek. That's, shoot, that's half a mile. So many people have asked me, why did you switch to a lead? It's called shootability. I'm gonna work in those dual game calls. Sure enough, we got a hen that comes in, and I'm thinking, where's old sad daddy at? Well, I'm ready, and I'm sitting on Sikkim with that elite. Don Palmer says, here comes a gobbler, 10 o'clock. He puts that head down, looks like he puts it right in our camera there that was set at the decoys. And I'm thinking this is the perfect time to get drawn. Well, I got drawn perfectly, but I think just as I was coming up, trying to get it settled on his head as he come up, he saw something and he zigged and I zagged. Decap, doggone it, I thought I had him. <laughs> well, Don and I are sitting there, and I'm just continually calling. The next thing you know, Don says, there's a gobbler. And I could tell it was a long beard. I'm getting all ready. Right now, I'm trying to figure out, do I wait to see if he comes in to old Bubby Jake? or are they gonna stay out and stay wide here? Decision had to be made and quick. I unknocked the decap. Grabbed the solid legend 125, cause he's out there a pretty good poke. And you're trying to do everything just perfect. It got intense and let me tell you, my heart was racing. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Don Palmer. Buddy, that's what you call switching arrows and getting the job done. Solid broadhead, the 125 legend. Donovan Hill, Brian Bachman, the whole gang here. Kansas rocks again. Big gobbler down. Big time strutting. Oh, Donnie. Good turkey, buddy. He is a long bear. I knew this old sad daddy gobbler was big framed, but when I got out to him and picked him up, Lord have mercy. I told Don, I said, dude, 
This this is a big gobbler. That rain's about to blow in too. We may have just lucked out. Let me sit. Let me sit him down right here, Donnie. I don't want to cut myself on this solid. I'm gonna show you all that though, buddy. That, my friends, is a broadhead. You don't think that ain't wicked? Look at that. Uh, he's really heavy. I bet he's gonna go 21, 22 pounds. That son of a was heavy. They, they put him on the scales. I couldn't believe it. Oh, he's maxed out. 26 pounds. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. That's, that's a big, big old bird. That's the heaviest gobbler that's ever been taken here at Arrowhead Wilderness Outfitters. And they weigh them all. A Pope and Young Turkey, you said? Yep. I guess. Looks like he scores about 67. Got a 10 and a half inch beard, one inch spurs, and weighs 26 pounds. A special thanks to Arrowhead Wilderness Outfitters, Donovan Hill, Brian Bachman, all the folks here. Y'all rock. Thank you. Hey, y'all, send in your virtue moment to us. We want to see it. We want to share it. All you have to do is go on thevirtue.tv, upload it. We want to see your moment. This Share Your Moment is brought to you by Game Hide. Share your virtue. We're about to kill us a turkey. We got our favorite sister, Trisha Wilson. This week's Share Your Moment, Father Don Wilson and his daughter Amanda, and Amanda's sister, Tricia, who is along for the ride. Hey, this is gonna be exciting. All I can say is wow. Way to go, Dad. Way to lay it down. And thanks for sharing the virtue with both of those girls. That's what it's all about. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. Grab him by the feet, babe. He's still breathing. Congratulations, Amanda and Trisha. Why me? Because you were with us. It's moments like these that we truly live for. So if you have a moment, Go to thevirtue.tv where you can win a hunt with yours truly, Philip Vanderbilt.